Hey, 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 what is up YouTube? How you doing? And welcome back to 60 seconds. In this game, I want to see what happens with whatever we take, but hopefully we can take everyone. And I'm very curious to see, can we end up with everyone? Because last time Dolores went out and she went to scavenge and she just got missing or taken by some raiders. Uh, Timmy eventually left because his parents did a bad job. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, new game. Doing the third part of the classic, scavenge. Select the type of atomic adventure. What is scavenge? Scavenge supplies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked by the end of your run. No survival included. So you got Fat Man and Dolores going as Fat Man this time. Normal. So, so exploration time 10 seconds and scavenge time 60 seconds. Let's go. All right. Ten seconds to look at everything. Definitely radio. Definitely flashlight. Because apparently we could have made it if we had a flashlight. According to like afterwards. Okay, so there's a gun. Uh, there's Timmy. There's that person. There's the flashlight. I see. Okay, so firstly, firstly, oh, the flashlight is in there. Shit. Oh. Everything is here. Grab, grab. No suitcase. Okay. Put it there. Grab Timmy. Um. Flashlight is there. Run! I hope I make it. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what the chicken's board is for. Uh, full. Okay. Gun. And then water. 30 seconds left. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, no room. Radio. Uh, the book. No room. Shit. Can we grab everyone? Can we grab everyone? Come on. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't have soup. I don't have soup. I have 15 seconds. Run, man. 15 seconds. Can we grab some soup? Okay, some soup. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Okay, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Woo! Jeez, we almost didn't make it. Okay, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff for the shelter. Not enough soup, which is bad. Because I think in this run, I should have had more soup and water. Did I even grab water, actually? Family Guide uh, rescued all families. Super, collect 10 soup cans. Holy shit. Okay, we got food. We got everything. Let's go. What happens? What? Safe for now. Was that like the run? Really? This time we're going with Fat Man. This is the normal experience, okay? So let's go. Begin adventure. I've got some ex uh, some exercise in now. Okay, so briefcase, girl, mask, uh, Dolores. Where's Timmy? Is Timmy in here? He is. Dolores, okay. Take Dolores first. And lots of soup cans. There you go, easy. So now we get Timmy. And we grab the uh, the radio and the checkers board. Okay, 15 seconds is gone. Um, girl, uh, I can only take her. All the food that's there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I got all the people. Water bottle. Um, full. There's a med kit. I need that med kit. Okay, run, 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 run. There you go. Uh, gas mask. Axe. Shit. One more run. Get everything that's there. Take it, take it, take it. You're too slow. I'm not gonna make it for this axe. Screw it. I've got the axe. Do I have the? I don't have the flashlight. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna make it. I didn't get the flashlight. And the radio. Ah! Well, I got the people. Day one. Got everyone. I got a lot of stuff at least. And a checkerboard. Okay. Let's see. 
All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't rem remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Definitely. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found is that will definitely prove useful. A lock. Is it a lock? Okay. Our, our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stocked shelter we've got ever seen. We've never seen a, another one, but we're this... We're sure this is good amount of supplies. Time to ration portions. Portions. Holy shit, I got so much soup and so much water. And I got the radio. We thought it'd be a great idea to have a, some role playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We call it the Thunder Dome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that, we may, that maybe it would be best to play something simple. Cool. No need for supply runs just yet. He's already growing a beard. We played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted for around 10 seconds and that, that was only, only because the lights went out for a moment. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no, oh, this is just telling me now uh, everyone's fine despite the dire circumstances. Timmy is being brave. Dolores is quite calm. Ted seems doing all right. Yeah. Okay, time to ration supplies. Nothing for no one. This is day two, though. Uh, our neighborhood is still highly reactive. Uh, trips to the surface are uh, not going to risk anyone now. Not necessary. Going to wait until people start getting hungry. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like, like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss around here. Who am I going to choose to do that? Okay. Day three. This is going quickly. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. So Mary Jane wants water. Uh, Timmy is also thirsty. Uh, everyone wants water. Gotcha. There you go. Everyone wants water. Everyone's happy. Are we going to send someone out now? I think so because it's still a long time. This time we're going to send Ted out. Or shall we send Timmy out? What's the, that trickling sound and why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preserves or a boat. A boat wouldn't even have fit inside the shelter. We need to do something. Save the supplies. So we don't have a map. We don't have cards. Why take cards though? But we'll save the radio. Okay. Let's see. Day four. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing the mess will take us days. And what's the smell? What's that smell? Uh, is feeling safe. Uh, Timmy making the best out of the situation. But Dolores is in good mood. Ted is fine. Uh, no one gets anyone. Anything. Okay, we're gonna try to make it like out with everyone. Timmy, you go. Because they'll just get Dolores. Let's give him the gas mask, actually. There you go. Since it's radioactive. Okay, day five. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at, or at least she's not saying anything at all. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Dolores is quite common. Ted says there's no nothing to worry about. The people are doing good. It's five days in. There we are, thinking it's a day like any other down here. When Mary Jane confronted us, she said it's her birthday, but she doesn't want a gift, not in this situation, not in this economy. Well, she's too young to be giving orders around here, so she's getting a birthday present and that's that. We just need to pick out something. 
Okay, she doesn't want a gift, so I'm not gonna give a gift. There's a knock. And in this playthrough, I think I will actually open up. Mary Jane's too old for birthdays, that's what we think. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Water is all the Loris wants, and Ted should drink something. So, in that case, water, water, no, not water. Hungry, water, there you go. What's that sound? A galloping horse. We rushed to the door and we uh, and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Yep. This is like the third playthrough where I didn't take a map. It's been a week! Although we tried to decline politely, the guests were very were clearly offended. They galloped away, waving their wooden swords and screaming something about cutting their shrubberies. Absolutely crazy. Uh, keeps fainting, we really need to find her something to drink. Uh, okay, Dolores has not eaten for a while and Ted is hungry. So now they're hungry and you're thirsty. And on the next day, Ted is bound to come back. We found some weird m uh, mushrooms growing on, okay, the walls food shortage is not loving that. So maybe it would be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. What's the worst thing that can happen? I want to try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's go. Who am I killing because of this? <laughs> oh, you got sick, I knew it. And I have a med kit, so it's fine. We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend, and mushrooms aren't y aren't. Yuck! Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. Today, Ted got sick. Let's heal him. Oh wait, what? Today has been fine for the Loras. Uh, cause any trouble? Ted got sick. We heard something about su uh, supply drops on the radio. This might just be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we get out and find? out if it's really happening we can't because uh, Timmy has the gas mask day nine let's go it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio the static is so relaxing Mary Jane says she's fine the, uh, there has to be some water left for Dolores and where is water when Ted needs it? Water, water, right? Jane is fine, so it's the Lord who's thirsty. Thirsty? Oh, with so many people now, it's going quickly. We can keep sitting on our backsides, uh, backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on... <laughs> we could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part. Of course, however, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Let's switch on the radio and see what happens. Day 10. We knew it! The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're st but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait further instructions. Mary Jane is thirsty. Uh, so sh Mary Jane is thirsty. Dolores is calm. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to shit. Um, so she's thirsty. Damn girl. Timmy has been away for a long time. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there is any trouble in the area as we were about to step out a pair of animal eyes flash in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Bada boom. That's all I can think of. I'm glad I had that mid kit though. Pop a cap in his ass. 
A quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away, or maybe bring down whatever the creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Got bring the brought the gas mask back. We found our way to the nearby hospital, which, despite heavy structural damage, is still standing. The the site wasn't pretty, though what used to be inside the hospital is now all over the place. For whatever survived the blast wave, anyway. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup. It looks like this was the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. Nice! There were plenty of bottles of liquid in. Woo! Let's go to me! In one of those wards. Peroxide or not, water is the water is water and beggars can't be choosers. It wasn't hard to find a fully equipped first aid kit. After all, it's a hospital. It's always better that when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new to Mary Jane today. Damn, Timmy is MVP. Timmy should eat something. Timmy is really tired. Dolores is fine as much as anyone can be. Ted is fine. So nothing about Mary Jane. I think she was fine. So it's just Timmy that needs to eat. Bro, you brought a whole can of soup. I'll give you water as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's water as well. You deserve it, little Timmy. It looks like the areas are radiated. Get, going to the wasteland right now is unsafe. Unless you don't mind getting sick. If they stay here, right? Does that mean... Like, the days will just continue and the rations will just, like, keep, keep going out. So in that case, we need to send someone out. When we opened the, the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. The, there was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? It might be the neighbor playing that prank again, but I do have a medkit. As you guys can recall from the previous video that uh, I think Ted or someone got sick. I was right, it's the neighbor again. Inside the suitcase we found some soup, but yuck, it expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well, some of us spent the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting an anonymous gift ever again. Uh, she's hungry, hungry, the Lord's will not be like, she's thirsty and she should drink something soon. So, thirsty, thirsty, hungry, hungry. Ted became infected with something. Okay, so, let's give him that, right? So, uh, thirsty, thirsty, click up. Hungry, hungry. We got this, gamers. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Which one of the, uh, us is the best fit to face the wasteland and survive? A O. Let's go, Mary Jane. A O. Hey, getting somewhere. Day 13! This dude got sick twice. If he gets sick again, I'm not helping him. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Equipment that. Timmy is very hungry. Okay, so hungry. Uh, has nothing for a while. I'm not gonna feed you now. Ted is hungry. Uh, okay, so hungry, hungry. MVP. Hungry, hungry. Okay, easy day. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on uh, and start asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So, how about turning on the radio to hear the brave new world? They're probably gonna hear something and, uh, and it's about drops uh, and ask to go outside. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Some water for Timmy, so it's safer, okay? Water for Timmy would be nice, okay, so he's thirsty. The Rose would really love to eat something. I'm actually gonna do nothing because it's only day 14. Surviving down here is no walk in a park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be or else we might face dangers we never dreamed of. Well, you're already in a bunker, so how much more dangerous? Knocked on the door, day 15. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Dolores would really love to eat something and there has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. So hungry and thirsty. 
didn't give her anything actually until she drinks something so in that case water for everybody uh, and you eat the last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet it was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard of a trumpet player in the in his entire life he came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry man enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor should we let them in why do i get the feeling that that sentence take from the rich and give to the poor i'm guessing they're poor and we're the rich people should we allow this they might just take the lore so no that might make it so much boring but you know what no it's gonna say something negative watch We didn't answer those particular calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we, uh, we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough. But can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? They might be worse than than those who don't seem harmless at all. Timmy's on his best behavior. Dolores is not even for a while. Shame. There isn't much going on with Ted. So, uh, nothing for no one. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that the, that, the, that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Listen. Let's listen. Brushka. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians. Sorry. Which isn't that much better. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were uh, saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Despite the circumstance. So, Timmy is brave. Dolores is fine. Ted says there's nothing to worry about. But someone wants to shoot themselves in the head. So in that case, I suppose our scares and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyway, and we need them more, right? You know what? Let's do it. Why not? I'm going to see what if like this game will just keep throwing curveballs in any case. The dark side, show your evil self. Did we steal? Look at all the soup cans we stole from old people. She looks roughed up. Wow. We are now richer in, the, in some supplies, but for some reason we don't feel very good about it. Let's just never mention this whole thing again. Four soup cans. What? <laughs> wow, that's bad. Shame. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. A pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a, a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave. But we went between the wrecks to explore anyway. Under the burnt remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottled water were not in the best state, but their contents looked perfectly drinkable. Two bottles of water. We got two bottles of water plus four cans. Guys, we're making it. Everyone is going to survive in this game. It seems like the bomb interrupted someone's picnic. Thankfully, they were big fans of tomato soup and the instructable cans were scattered all around the parking lot. Two more cans! Whoa! Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Oh, this is the part. Okay, so she's hungry. Uh, as we're talking about nothing other than water. So hungry, thirsty. Hungry. Ooh, sorry. Wait, what? The rose is not eating for a while and she's thirsty. Uh, you know what? Water, water, water. The Ted the Ted want water? Yes. But he's not hungry. So in this case, hungry, hungry, hungry. Oh my god! <laughs> Plus three. Wow, I can play this game in hard mode now. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We don't know until we go outside. I don't want to lose someone now. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag. 
on his shoulder paid us a visit he offered us a simple one-time deal for just one can of soup we could get the bag and all of its contents we can't see what's inside and the trader gives us uh, angry glances every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag should we make a deal i've got enough cans so what's inside the bag it's probably nothing but i've got it's a cat we got the cat back what is the cat's name again? Um, what is his name again? She's crazy. It's a, it's a scruffy, scruffy, whatever. I don't know. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting scree, uh, emitting scree, emitting. I don't know. Screeching hellish, hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the wall. When the Beast finally escaped. It turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sharikov. It was sh Sharikov. Is that its name? Minus one soup. Mary Jane is quite hungry. I don't mind paying one can of soup for the cat. Nothing new to report on Timmy today was relatively calm for Dolores and Ted is fine. What about the Mary Jane? It's quite hungry. Okay. You were out and about. Are we going to send someone? Uh, I think not yet. Yes, we shall. But she will just get captured, won't she? You know what? Let's go up the list. Let's do it. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly. And instead, we got to listen to the transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about ev evacuation. But it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in a geographer. Freak la la la. Given in a geographical co coordinates. We need a map to establish where it is. No, don't. Next playthrough, I'll get a map. Flip. There's a bloody hand at the top. You see there? Guys, I'm stuck. Like, I just don't have a flashlight and the stuff to actually get out with. But, holy crap. We will... We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get lucky next time. Hungry? Nothing. Uh, nothing hungry. Hungry, hungry. Mary Jane is hungry. So hungry, hungry. Gotcha. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh air. Toxic air may be scavenged. Dolores, you're up. What the frick is she gonna do with the checkers board? Mask. Gun. You know what? She got taken last time. Let's send her out with a freaking gun. You go, girl. Oh shit, it's been three weeks. Holy crap. But we're, we're blazing through this. Uh, she's thirsty. Thirsty. Okay, so everyone's thirsty. Okay. Can't keep doing this with the water. Tell me notice that his old telescope in a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited about stargazing again. After all, this night... The night sky is one of the very few things that still look about the same after the blast. Should we let Timmy go out and stare pointlessly at the sky? I, I'm just like, this is like a movie scene where he will go out, stare at the sky, and then someone will take him away. Are we going to offer up Timmy? He was the MVP. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. Mary Jane has looked better. Day 22. The cat is getting closer to the soup can. Timmy returned in the morning. Tired but very happy. He says he saw a spaceship flying by. One, one with the American flag on it. Surely that can't be true. He's probably making things up. Time to grow up, Timmy. So. Uh, nothing new with Mary Jane. Uh, Timmy is fine. And nothing to do with Ted. So we're all good. We're surviving. Let's do something today, something fun. If we don't, some, someone might snap and that's the last thing we want. Checkers! Wow, what a quick day. 
Oh my god, the cat knocked everything over. I'm guessing or started playing with the stuff by the sound of it. A game of checkers, a cup of coffee, and a newspaper is all a 1950s man needs. There's no coffee down here, and the paper boy probably got blown up. Yay! <laughs> checkers. Uh, fatigue, nothing new to report, that is fine. Good, 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 good. While trying to get... While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with the address scrolled on it. Could its previous owner still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit. Or at, le or at least whatever's left of them. Nope. I know what happens. Wherever we go, it's the owner, they take the cat back and the cat comes back. All right. Wow, she's back. That was quick. This cat belongs to us now. It's our new dear friend and valuable uh, addition to our bunker. It's staying in its final. We were glad to see the Loras come back safely from the wasteland. A little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. We never like people who boarded long, boarded long distance buses with baggage full of food, especially the kind that smelled bad. But in our current situation, we will be more than happy to find suitcases filled with canned soup or even some smelly cheese. Ransacking through backpacks turned out to be quite profitable. What did we get? More cans? Uh, a lot of people had a, a weird fixation on carrying soup cans with them. Lucky for us, they always picked our favorite flavor, tomato. Another can! Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match for us, so we just took all the water bottles. Two water bottles, that's what we needed! Can we spare some water, Mary Jane has been talking about it all day. So, water, uh, water, uh, hungry, thirsty. So, water, water. So you're hungry. Wah, -ah, wah, -ah, wah. -ah. No, we're not sending anyone out now. Our first aid kit is of no use, and we need to do something about it for for some bizarre reason. We believe we can use lethal bug spray to produce some additional medicine. Maybe it will work. Maybe we don't. We don't know until we've tried. And yeah, no, that will just poison us. And I do not have a med kit to save anyone. Day twenty-five. Holy crap. Today, ooh, too bad we didn't have that spray. Homemade drugs sounds like an excellent idea. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. Timmy should eat something the rose has not eaten for a while. That is being fatigued. So eat, eat. Uh, Timmy can skip eating. I'll feed her. Are we gonna send Ted out? I think so. Let's go, Ted. A O. Let's go. One minute it was all fine, and the next uh, we uh, we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane! We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're gonna survive this. Let's just sleep on it. Next day, Ted is going out. Day 26, let's go. We still have the cat. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this doesn't open, happen again. Uh, I like to eat a little food. We should eat something. The Lord says nothing for a while. The Lord says drink something. Uh, Ted's stomach is rumbling. I'm going to send Ted out now, so I'm not going to feed him. So I'll feed you, feed you, feed you, feed you. What do you guys still want? Uh, has to drink sometime. Nope. Okay, what are you taking with this time? Briefcase, let's go. Let's see if he can get some extra stuff. Bye, Ted. Ooh, they're starting to, they're all starting to look dreadful. It is day 27. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy should eat something. How about getting to be some? So, uh, drink, drink and eat. Uh, so drink, drink and eat. Okay, so actually, everyone should drink. Who needs to eat? 
Wait, Jen, is there Thursday? Tell me, should eat something. Tell me, should eat something. Tell me, has been sitting, has been sitting there, just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. Have a little chat with him. This is dire situation. Day twenty-seven, guys. Day twenty-eight. Let's see. Even a word or two may be uh, enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. No news. Uh, it's good news to, uh, for Timmy. Everything seems. Uh, everyone's fine. Let's go. Jeez, we're flying through these days. We've been hearing some soft scratchy noises in the shelter at night. We thought it was the wind, but we're wrong. It's the cat. It's not really doing anything naughty. It just seems to. Uh, it'll just squeeze us through some holes in the wee in the wall and makes its way outside we're not sure where it goes during this, uh, the, these secret trips but every morning it's back in the shelter like nothing ever what happened i can't remember what happened when we like followed the cat in the previous video of 60 seconds what happened i don't think anything good happened i'm gonna try one more time i don't think anything good happened very m minimal things the cat is gone that's what happened. Sherikov took us to an old junkyard uh, resident for that's how, that's what happened, the scientist. But the cat will be back. Sorry, I'm not reading it. I have read this part in my previous video. It's always better when things are calm. So she's fine. Good, good. Everyone's good, nice. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location. We don't have a map. Oh, uh, what is gobbledygook? I the last time I heard that word or read that word was actually in Harry Potter, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we need a map. We were sure we could find a location with the map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get it lucky next time. Hey, everyone has to drink sometimes. So, thirsty. Now, about getting something to drink. Uh, everyone's thirsty. Okay, guys, slow down. Two bottles of water. When the Dolores came back from that expedition. Wait, what? Did the Dolores come back? Did we send the Dolores? I don't remember. Uh, I think so, yes. When the Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. Oh, the other day. I think I said Ted now, I was about to say. But right now, it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. It's the same thing with Timmy when he got hurt. I thought we were going to chop it off, but we didn't. Basically, you heat it up, you know, and then you close the wound like that, and then you uh, it can't be used again. You see, it's gone. If there was one thing that we could never uh, consider, it would be cutting off any part of the Lord's with, with an axe. Not only uh, would she object to this, uh, object to this, she would probably take matters and the axe into her own hands. Uh, it was in our best interest to avoid such a situation. We did use the heated axe. You see what I mean? This happened all in the previous playthrough. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sharikov somehow found his way back. That's all. So what I said, Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Okay, Timmy is good. Uh, Dolores, we really love to eat something. I do have cans to spare, so there you go. One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. Take the gun with... Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. They... A big jug of water, right? Or am I... <gasps> he found the map! <claps> Ted is the MVP. Holy shit. And bullet rounds? Or was that just always there? What's the first thing to do when you open a door leading to a place you don't know? Open fire. Bam, bam. Our bullets struck the wall and guess what? We hit a water pipe. We were able to still to fill a few water bottles with all that water that tr uh, trickled from the bullet holes. So that's how they got the water. It wasn't Ted, but we got two waters during one of its insane episodes at around three o'clock last night. Sharikov ran uh, fa face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a cigar. 
box. <laughs> I love how they like split it so. With some ammunition inside. Thanks, whoever left it there. What? A cigar box? Oh, with ammunition inside. I completely misread that. Ted has safely returned from his voyage into the surface. But we believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been uh, followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Uh, <laughs> I honestly thought it was like a, a mosquito in, in my uh, on the screen, like my side. Our expedition went directly to the vi to visit the primary school, not for education, of course. Oh no. We were desperate for supplies and the school was our best chance of getting them. Everybody adored the lunch lady. She was almost 80 and everything she touched tasted great and smelled of tomato. Now we know her secret. Tomato soup cans, which we got one of. The biology class had an aquarium. The fish had died since no one fed them, but the aquarium water, still, water could still be drinkable. It was enough for a few bottles. Two bottles! Woo! The local scout team had its own room in the school basement. We found it full of boxes and boxes of scout handbooks. Oh. They were preparing for the apocalypse. Anyway, we just took one. The geography classroom was very poorly equipped. The only useful item we found could find was a map of our own town. Still better than nothing. Yes! Now we just need a flashlight. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Uh, Tim is fine. Dolores is fine. And Ted is hungry. Hungry. Dude, guys, look at that. We're full of water. Okay, no one is going now anymore. It is very difficult to prepare for unforeseen for, uh, consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition. So that does make a lot of sense. We can't say we were prepared for, for what happened. Huh? What is this game talking about? Who knows, maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Everyone has to drink something to Mary Jane. So hungry, thirsty. Timmy has to should eat something. Hungry and thirsty. Uh, uh, you know what? Water for everybody and soup for everybody. Happiness? Uh, are we gonna send someone out now? No, not yet. A loud crash, a surprised shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a re recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Sherikov found a new toy. A bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for? But our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from our fluffy friend and investigate it? No, because he scratches your face. I remember. So much actually is happening at the same time. Okay, everyone's looking dreadful. He's grown a beard. Let's see what happens. We don't really want to risk pissing off Sherikov by taking his toy away. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just leave it at that. The wire, uh, that wire is probably useless. She's food. Uh, Timmy is on his best behavior. So Ted is hungry. And Mary Jane is hungry. Gotcha fam. Hungry and hungry. Are we going to send someone out? Not yet. We are surviving this. I want everyone to survive. Life in the shelter can really put a strain on personal relationships. Privacy is a forgotten, impossible concept now. So, so even if you wanted to clear clear the air well even the most private conversations are guaranteed an unwanted audience Dolores and Ted could really use a quiet moment to talk in peace how about a picnic in a nearby park tough one I haven't gotten this scenario yet sure send them out if they don't come back this game is shit day 35 well they've clearly came back Nothing like a romantic outing to a, uh, to a ruined post-apocalyptic park. Complete with giggling and whispering sweet no nothings over a shared can of tomato soup. At least that's how Ted remembers it. Dolores is unwilling to comment, but they both feel better today. So clearly whatever happened has lifted their spirits. Uh, Mary Jane is fine. Timmy is fine. And he's hungry. 
Damn, dude, stop eating. Not sending anyone out. I'm surviving this with everyone. We should really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're already uh, relatively safe and we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it. <laughs> I'm terrible for this. I'm a terrible person for this. Let's get them. I wouldn't do this in real life. <laughs> what happened? We don't really need super water, so what else can we get? We we went, got what we need. We got meds! That's what's needed. This run is like, this is the perfect run. We need it and came back. We're sure that gr that group will do just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Ah! So, she's thirsty. Uh, he should drink. So, Mary Jane is thirsty. Okay, everyone is thirsty. Bottle of water for everyone. Uh, should we send someone again? We're still fine. I'm going to write this out. You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is a naked walls not much is necessary for an explosion it happened we started fighting like crazy how am i supposed to beat this game where is like what is with the thing like uh, can i click on this there you go okay we stopped arguing but for how long mary jane isn't worried at least uh nothing to report to me well and ted nothing anyway I'm Gucci, I don't have to send anyone out. I'm just like surviving the days. This is the perfect run. We have a situ in our, uh, situation on our hands. There is a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood or cans, probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. We have shotgun, we have gun bullets, let's do it baby! Unbreakable. Some knocking at the door. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Holy shit, look at that shit. Damn. Holy crap. Okay. It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of the ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Oh, damn it! <laughs> we spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do now? Okay, the gun is broken. That's a bit of a tussle. Um, nothing to report on her. Nothing on him. Uh, calm. And no new problems. Woo! Everyone is fine. Let's go. Sending someone out. I don't want to lose my shit or people. It's a perfect playthrough. A scientist at least supposedly arrived on our do uh, doorstep yelling, Dr. Sherikov, are you in there? He was looking for his lost cat, but kept referring to, to the pet as his favorite assistant. His reasons apparently can't go on without the cooperation of Dr. Sherikov. Since the cat doesn't seem keen on moving out of our bunker anytime soon, the doc wants us to compensate him by helping him with his project. In these circumstances, it might not be the worst idea to befriend other wastelanders, even the batshit crazy ones. There's no answer for this. Okay, so we made a friend, the scientist. Day 39. Getting something to drink from Mary. Jane. Timmy's hungry. Uh, water, uh, water. So, so water, 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 very hungry. Water, water. I already forgot. Timmy is very angry. Yeah, water hungry. I'm, I'm snowboarding this game. This is the perfect run. 
Today the music from the radio stopped. Yes, I have a map now. Today the mu music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. Also, I was well asked to leave a sign that we're, that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical, ge ge geographical, geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish what that is. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Are we rescued? Day 40. A quick answer to the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Okay. So we left them a message in a bottle. Hungry. Water. Water. Hungry. Water. Hungry. Hungry. Water. Hungry. Hungry. Are we going to send someone out now? Because this is... I don't need to send anyone out, but I do need a flashlight. That gun of ours will probably be more dangerous for whoever is firing it rather than uh, for the target. That's not how a gun should work. Let's fix it. We're going to fix the gun. I think fix the gun and then we go out, out again. But maybe I should send someone out to hopefully uh, with the briefcase. It's fixed. Let's go. We send someone out now. With the briefcase to hopefully get the torch. With the help of the scouting handbook, we were able to get the rifle into working condition. We ended up with spare parts. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine, if there's anything to report about it. So Mary Jane, worried? Nothing else. Worried? Nothing? Nothing? Let's send Timmy out again, because he was the MVP. The cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's signed by the scientist. He says uh, he's being followed by a couple of weird men in hats and sunglasses, making him te temporarily go into hiding. His note mentions the construction of some sort of transportation contraption. Few details were provided, but apparently it can get us uh, out of this hell. Uh, it still needs to be stocked with supplies, which is where we come in. He wants us to stockpile several cans of soup. The doc will come pick them up soon. I don't know. Boom. And we will send Timmy out with the map, actually. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they've promised us a painful death at least 17 times already. And it's, all, and it's only been five minutes since they arrived. We better prepare. They'll be forcing their door open in any minute now. Lock it. Is this what it's for? Do we lock the door now or shoot? Let's lock it. Let's use the locker. The doc came knocking on our door to collect the supplies that he requested. They're important for the project. He said we can trust him. After all, he's a doctor. That's four cans of soup, man. Nope. Sorry, buddy. I literally, I think, have four cans of soup. I'm not about to give up a perfect run. This guy's a bit too nutty, even by our standards. We will hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our minds later. Mary Jane is very thirsty. Thirsty. Okay, everyone needs water. Running out of water, guys, come on. We were sure we'd looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed, a plant seed. Should we use it? Yes. Let's hope it's a good seed. Oh shit, I only have one bottle, bottle left now. Where's all the bottles? Here goes nothing, soil seed water. We'll see what happens in a few days time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into something useless, some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Mary Jane is quite hungry. The Dolores would really love something to eat and there's nothing going on with it. So the two ladies would like a meal. Foodie, foodie. Oh shit, I only, uh, all hands on deck, there are people on the other side. So, blow them to smithereens. Let's go. That sounded like a... <laughs> Defeat three bandit attacks in one game. Woo! We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? 
That spare ammo we brought came, brought came in handy. Our third, our blah, blah, blah. our trusty old rifle helped us right now. This is not good. Shit. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Life is hard for all of us right now, but Doris is in a good mood today. Um, fine, uh, fine, fine. Everyone's fine. That's good. That's good. We're just waiting for Timmy. A code that was left on our doorstep. It's all symbols and numbers, some sort of cipher that will need to be cracked before we can read the, sh the letter. The Lord seems eager for the challenge. However, it's hard to tell how long this could take her and it would prove to be a waste of her time. Should she keep herself busy with it? Yes. Decipher it. Decode it. More knocking. Timmy is still not back. We can fix the gun with that thing, can't we? Dolores instantly sat down with the code and started working on it with a purpose. She looked of, she looks very focused. Let's hope the note is worth staying up all night. Does Dolores look very look? No, no, no. Dolores looks very tired already. Uh, she wants water. I have to drink something. Retired, rumbling. I'll give you food. Uh, what? Needs most right now. Water. I'll just get. Uh, I'm close to end of my water spree. That crazy scientist visited us again, insisting that we hand over the supplies. He asked, "We don't have it. Screw off. We're not gonna make it, but we're almost. Woo! He's back, and he brought a bottle of water and the map, and it's growing. Let's go! And he brought another one. The doc is getting on our nerves a bit. Sure, we promised we'd get him some supplies, but it's hard to give them up." They're worth the, their weight in gold, our soup cans, whatever the currency is these days. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and, and safe with us now. A map, our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. We were not alone outside the shelter at first. Uh, at first, it seemed like the creature stalking us was about to get itself a tasty dinner. To our relief, it turned out to be a friendly monkey had joined our expedition. The monkeys uh, got the water or the can soup, couldn't open it or something, and then like dropped it and ran away. From what I can remember from the previous playthrough. Uh, monkeys started sounds, digging in front of us with the stick. Quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one no one even tried to open them. It's a uh, bottle of water. It's impressive how many as well. Okay, so he dug up the water. So we got one bottle of water. Nothing, eat, uh, water, shit, everyone needs water, so in that case, water, water, eat. We're gonna send someone out again. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio uh, until midday, but after we turned in the military broadcast, we were left speechless. Not only did they not deliver on the evacuation promise, they also ordered us to dispose of all our firearms before the military arrives to save us. Who are such things of an American? Who? America! Fuck yeah! <laughs> we don't have one, but we're gonna fix it. Hopefully. Day 50! Guys, this is getting along. This is getting along. Um, since we didn't have a gun to begin with, soldiers shouldn't have an issue with us. Then trouble. Very hungry. Okay, and nothing with Ted so very hungry. We can certainly feed you, my boy. We've been preparing. No, we've been preparing the expedition. Let's send out Ted. She looks horrible, though. We might lose her. What are we gonna send her with? Let's take the bug spray. Okay, next day. Day 51. Wow. Look at the look at the can. We're growing some veggies. Mary Jane went outside the let's hope she has back soon equipment. Tim is very hungry again. Uh, nothing and nothing. So very hungry. Jeez, this guy's eating all our soup up. Whoa, the plant Mary Jane has been tending to is growing like crazy. It's, all, it's also growing uh, in the dark. We've never grown carrots or anything. So we're not sure if that's normal. Maybe it's a good uh, time to collect whatever fruit is produced. Uh, what if it's too early? I don't know. We'll find out now. 
we'll see day 52 I don't see anything happening with the plant though good call with the plant we were able to produce a what I missed that we got four cans from that plant <laughs> let's go the glow seems to give it an extra uh, nutritional value. Timmy is terrible shape. We need to give him the water now. The Lords would really love something to eat uh, and water. Uh, everyone wants water. And I can actually give everyone one bottle of water. Wait, didn't it say Timmy needs to eat? No, it didn't. We have enough cans to, f to fill you, darling. That Naughty Dog keeps coming back uh, demanding those supplies. His patience is wearing thin as is, our, as is ours. Looks like it's our last chance to give him what he needs for, or finally close the door in his face for good. Or maybe we should just pretend we're not home. You know what? I just got four cans. The bottle of water is up. Let's see what happens if we actually give up so much of what we have. That I just screw us. We can harvest it again by the looks of it. If we can spare something, why not share it? Especially, yep, that happened. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy's being very brave. Everything's good with the Loras. Please don't be angry. No problems with Ted. Let's go. Shit, I need water. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and now we don't have that. Shit. Nothing happened. A good, a good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word de decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can while hunting the space key spiders. That was one beautiful hunt. We got a soup can, people. Timmy's on his base behavior. Let's go. Dolores is quite calm. Uh, I can feed you. Wow, this is going on long, but I, we need we need water. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? Yes. It's good to have a chat. Day 54. We are past the previous video's day. Can we not harvest it yet? The girl's not back yet. Talking to Dolores helped, some, uh, helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now you could use some water. Dolores has to drink sometimes. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last. Shit! I don't have water! Alarm! Someone is trying to break in and they're not alone! We better get ready or else we might end up dead or worse. Come on! Perfect run, man! They took Timmy. We lost them! The commotion coming from outside could only mean one thing. Bandits! Mary Jane probably walked right into them. We need to face the possibility that she is not coming back. No! We lost Mary Jane! We watched up as those cruel thugs took Timmy out of the shelter. We hope we'll see him again someday. Ah! The Lores will not survive without water. And Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave if he doesn't drink or something right now. Now no one is going out! There was another there was another military announcement on the radio. The soldiers are nearby and ordering a single person from each survivor group to meet them on the outline of the group situation. This is a bit odd. We do hope they mean well. It's still pretty much the only thing we can do, so it's probably worth sending someone out. Let's go. Shit man! Imagine this is the end. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes and told us that they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. I'm gonna lose them both without water. You know what, I'll feed her. I'll actually feed both of them. The mad scientist has asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment that's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it's for it has for, but he says it has for research on wasteland diseases. Is this something we want to take part in? Who's the best and fit to survive in the mysterious and potentially dangerous equipment? 
She's constantly thirsty, so might as well send her out. We're left with Ted again. Day 58. We've got so many soup cans. Our volunteer has temporarily left the shelter to build, uh, to help build a badass rocket that we can use to get out of this wasteland. Let's hope we're not just wasting our time. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to. Okay, time to ration supplies. It's only you, Ted. A gang of thugs started st banging on our door. Ted is now gone. Ted is now gone. This is the end. We held out for 59 days. I'm not going to read all of these, but my gosh. We had, we had such a perfect run and then that happened. That was almost a perfect run. But. Guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment down below and help me with the algorithm. Help the algorithm to push out my videos for people to watch it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go! Yeah.